Today is a historic day. It's the dawn of a new era for Somalia. Thank you all. A unanimous endorsement for Hassan Ali Qayre, President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo's nominee for Prime Minister. The 49-year-old former oil executive on Wednesday became Somalia's new Prime Minister. 231 vote in favor. No one vote against, no one abstained. I hereby declare his endorsement as the country's next Prime Minister. President Farmajo also addressed Parliament and vowed to improve the cooperation between the executive and legislature. It's a great day for us. All 231 MPs present in the House supported my nominee. The unity of Somalia is evident more than ever. This is your government. Kaira inherits the same old challenges faced by his predecessors, including insecurity, drought, corruption and high unemployment rate. But he hopes to take advantage of the massive public support that came with President Farmajo's February 8th election victory. To the Somali youth who are 70% of the total population, our time is now. I encourage you all to take part in the rebuilding, reconciliation, security and state building. My government will give the youth a chance to be part of the new administration. The new Prime Minister took oath of office in front of a 275-member parliament. After his endorsement, the national anthem followed, with experts saying that the new government carries a sense of hope and optimism for the public. This is great hope for Somalia. Uh, from the start, when the president was elected, you saw uh, the celebrations all over where Somalis are. He came at the back of hope, at the back of a change. He did a small transformation to the, how it was coming from. Uh, he came up with a very competent, young and energetic uh, prime minister who has experience both uh, domestic at home and abroad. Kaira's endorsement might have been the easy part. A huge task now lies ahead for the former humanitarian worker who now has to address the country's protracted humanitarian crisis, including a devastating drought that's threatening more than 6.2 million people, or half of the country's total population, as well as an armed insurgency by Al-Shabaab, a militant group that has already vowed to wage a deadly campaign against the new government. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.